Hi, and welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. You may notice that we have this mortar and pestle, which we just got, to help prepare our sauce. Today we're going to be making green fettuccine with a walnut sauce. Now, the sauce you don't actually have to cook, so I'm going to learn how to use this today, and hopefully it turns out good. So we have our ingredients. We have, we have one tablespoon of breadcrumbs, and we did soak in water for about 10 minutes, and we removed the water by squeezing it out. We're going to be adding that, 150 grams or 5 ounces of walnuts, a small clove of garlic, yogurt, plain yogurt, which will come later, olive oil, virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of fresh marjoram, which we didn't have today, so we're going to be using dry, um, salt, which we're going to add, and 50 grams or 2 ounces of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Okay, we're going to start by adding our ingredients. I guess the order isn't super important, but we're going to add breadcrumbs. The recipe calls for the walnuts to be shelled and the skin removed. Uh, we did not have whole walnuts. We have already chopped walnuts, which is what we're using today. We're going to add our garlic. Get that in there. Add our marjoram. Our oil and our yogurt will come later. And we're going to add some of this salt, probably not all of it, just a little bit to begin with. I'll see if that's enough. And then our cheese we're going to add. And I'm going to attempt to use this mortar and pestle. So we're going to do this for a little bit and try to get it into a fairly smooth consistency. As we pound away and do our thing. Okay, and while I'm doing this, we have started our fettuccine. That's off to the side and we will be adding that at the end. You want something else? Okay, uh, we're going to pause for just a minute while we uh, add the fettuccine to our boiling pot of water. Uh, this is not actually the fettuccine that we wanted, it was the one we could find. Uh, it's not in long strands, it's kind of shorter pieces and a little thinner. But again, this is what we had to work with and so this is what we're going to be using. Okay, the next step is to transfer our mixture to another bowl. We've got this chopped about as or smashed or whatever you want to call it, pestled, into about as fine as a mixture as we can get it. And it looks pretty good. Okay, set that aside. If you want to work out, use one of those. So now the next step is going to be add our yogurt and our oil. Okay, first we're going to add our oil, which is six tablespoons of virgin olive oil. And we're just going to kind of drizzle it in as we go, mix it in a little bit. Okay, so now that we have our oil in, we're going to add four tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt, which we're going to add now. Okay, our sauce is nice and creamy, and that's just about done. Again, you, it's not a sauce you have to cook. We're just waiting for our fettuccine to finish boiling, and then we'll be finished. Okay, our fettuccine is done cooking. So we're going to go ahead and transfer that to our pasta bowl. Looks like it turned out very nice. Okay, so into our pasta, we're going to add our sauce, mix it in, add some pepper, and we'll see what the finished product is like. Of course, if you have the sauce, you mix it in, and it feels a little too stiff, you can always add a little pasta water. That's not going to hurt a thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that all together. Here, we're going to mix that all together. Okay, I think, uh, Antonio, oh, <clears throat> I think Antonio has the amount of pasta just about right. 
it looked like it might be a little bit much, but really it isn't. This sauce kind of kind of expands as you go. It seems like it really has turned out looks good. Okay, now we're going to add a little black pepper to that. Okay, so here's our finished product. We're going to go ahead and plate this up. But it turned out it was really fairly easy. If you can use a mortar and pestle, I've never used one. It's pretty easy to do. You have a few simple ingredients. It's fairly quick. You can have a quick, nice uh, fettuccine meal, lunch, dinner, whatever you want. Pretty easy, pretty quick, pretty simple. If I can do it, anyone can. Okay, the only thing left to do now that we have it plated up and a little bit more pecorino on there and a little bit more pepper, I think we are ready for a taste test. Go ahead and give this a taste. Looks good. I have to admit, I think this is pretty good. Hmm. It's something that I've never expected in a, in a pasta dish. Definitely taste the walnuts. It, it's almost like it shouldn't go together, but it really does. Hmm. Hmm. That works, and it's quick and it's simple. It's tasty. I recommend it. We'll see you next time. I'd say more, but I'm going to keep eating.